know I have my nose pierced and it's actually been getting infected <laughs> because all the makeup that I put on, like when I'm recording content and stuff, and obviously makeup gets in the hole. So I haven't been cleaning it properly and daily like how I should have. When you get a nose ring or if you have one already, then you know what I'm talking about when I talk about that little ball. <laughs> That little bump ball that basically like grows top of your nose but under your nose ring. Mine's is coming back and I just, I cannot have that. My face is already broken out crazy. So we're not going to <laughs> create any more nonsense bumps, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you my method. It's not mine, but it's what I use. A lot of people are totally against it, but it works to me. And it's the only thing that has gotten my nose bump away. So yes, I've used saline. I've used salt water solutions. I have all the products. Those don't work for me. This does. I'm just using some tea tree oil, but the trick here is you have to dilute it because if not, it could really do some damage. I like to dilute it with a lot of water. So I'm gonna show you guys how I basically do it, but it's really strong. So be careful. So I just pour a little amount in here like almost barely nothing. I fill this up to the top and then I use a Q-tip and just like swirl it around. Okay. Basically once that's done, I will take this and just kind of like really clean underneath the ring. I like to get inside because this is really what's going to just get it to be like as clean as possible. Now, I did have a little bump underneath here, but I can see that it's going away. My nose ring does not hurt anymore. Be gentle though. <laughs> I got my nose ring pierced back in college and I could not get rid of the bump on this side. So I refuse. Okay, it's been a year since I had my nose pierced. I refuse to get that bump back and then just pour out the rest. Okay, so let me continue with my routine and yeah, so witch hazel has been definitely working for my face. I'm on my period today, guys, and I feel disgusting, but I'm gonna still try to make it to the cafe and still go to pole dancing class. That is gross because I would never usually go to pole dancing on when I have my period, but here we are. And then after I go along with the toner from Butter, I'm gonna use the same pad. And this is just to even out my dark mark. You could also use this in place of the witch hazel. We got the black girl sunscreen. Now this I put on last. And put this on 30 minutes before you're about to go outside. So that it has time to activate, duh. Let's start our day. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> All right, so I'm in my closet now. I need to do my hair because my hair is just looking, it's looking a little crazy. So what I'm going to do to do my hair is we're just going to do a sleek ponytail because I'm going to wear the same style to pole dancing. All right, so I'm using, but this is from Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. And I'm only using this because Eco Styling Gel, I don't know. My hair does not like Eco Styling Gel these days. So I'm not going to use that. I mix this with another product that they have. And I'm going to show you guys that one in a second once I get to that point. I'm going to be doing with medium bun, medium high. y'all so my hair is done everything is done i'm just so groggy like i can't find any ibuprofen in the house any advil motrin tylenol nothing so i uh, can probably order it from instacart or i can probably just hmm, my sister should be on her way here i can ask her to pick up some because i cannot pole dance like this like i am just like if i could just hop back in the bed right now I would which is one of the reasons why I actually made it up today because I was like if I don't make it up I'm gonna lay back there now I'm not gonna make it to the cafe it's like four o'clock about to be probably five soon so I won't have time but I do have emails um, to answer for some campaigns that are definitely coming up so I'll just work on that while I'm here 
and then I have a couple of YouTube videos to edit so I'm gonna just work on all of that stuff until 740 which is when my class starts so yeah guess what so I needed to buy a rug for my bathroom I ordered one from H&M so I'm so curious to see how it looks fingers crossed because I don't want to have to go ahead and return this oh and I also bought some pillow covers for my pillows downstairs so Moment of truth. Let's go to the bathroom. gonna be so much more bigger so a little disappointed with that now H&M's website it sucks there are no dimensions there's no size nothing so I kind of went based off of like other people's pictures <laughs> and it looked big in their photos but I really wanted this to kind of like take over this entire portion of the bathroom and it's way smaller than that so I'll keep it I'll just have to figure out a bigger like where I can find a bigger circle mat and maybe put this mat somewhere else I mean it fits but it just looks small if that makes sense yeah it actually looks bigger in person it just looks honestly it looks smaller because of the lens maybe it's bigger in person it just it should be bigger <laughs> So I probably would need like, I wanted it to be from like, like this be the center and hit this corner and this corner and that corner. So a little bit like wider. So I could probably layer this rug maybe by a second rug, a little bigger than this, possibly white, and then put it underneath this so that it looks a little fuller because it looks really tiny. Then I ended up getting some pillow covers because I really want to change the pillow covers out of the living room because it's just been a blue theme for so long and I don't know I don't even know how if you watch my past vlogs I've made it very clear that I don't know how my living room got to blue all right <laughs> but it's blue Ooh, so these I like I think this will look good with the new carpet that we just bought remember the carpet I hated remember that carpet that I hated I bought a new one which looks way better it's more neutral we also have a piece of a painting down there that needs to be like put up so it's sitting on the couch so I'll show you guys when I go down there and then so I got these it came three in a pack and these are actually 20 by 20 pillow coverings pillowcase coverings what is that but I thought they were three different well they're kind of different so we got like this material it feels like a like a twill like a knit type of thing but yeah this is that this is this one and this is this one so it's definitely all neutral it could also fit in my bedroom if I wanted but my bedroom is also neutral let me turn the light down so you guys can see so my bedroom is neutral and these could actually go really well in here so I'm gonna go downstairs now and change the pillow coverings I just ordered food and I shouldn't have but yeah I'm really trying not to order food anymore but here we are food ordered um I oh, ordered my favorite. I can't tell you where it's from because then you'll know where I live. But it's so good. But I've been ordering this forever. It's the fried shrimp and fries. From my favorite place. Oh. <sighs> it smells so good. Look at it. Yum. And then I always put barbecue sauce on everything. Which I probably should stop. I'm sure it's a lot of calories. But I just can't help myself. So... What a barbecue sauce glass. Do you guys want some? Here. And I can't really eat all of this because 
you can't eat too much and go on a pole. You will throw up every single thing. <laughs> So I only am gonna eat enough to like feel full because I only had an oatmeal today at like 10 a.m. and it's 6.50. I have class at 7.40. So you don't wanna eat all of this. I also remembered not to lotion today, my body that is. Cause if you lotion and go to pole, you'll slip right off of it and be all greasy. So last week I made that mistake and I was just so irritated cause I couldn't do anything. So this week I remembered. No lotion. Okay. I didn't want to order out because I'm trying to save money, but then I also, it's making me fat, okay? So I wanted to like, stay away from like, fried foods and all that stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do after poll is just go to the supermarket and get a couple of things. I haven't really gone grocery shopping because since me and Josh have been dating, um, I haven't really been home. <laughs> and everything I'm buying is getting like wasted and I know I could bring it to his house, but then I don't feel like cooking all day either. <laughs> so it's like everything gets wasted, so I'm home, I know I'm gonna be home this next couple days. I'm forced to cook and eat healthy. I also wanna start juicing. I just wanna cleanse my body and purge it out, you know? Anyways, I'll see you guys when I'm heading to pole. I'm gonna take y'all with So I am exhausted, I'm pooped, okay? Oh my God, those classes just get harder and harder and harder, but for the better. So I'm not gonna lie, doing this with my period, I don't feel any cramps. Like I see why they say you should work out or stretch when you have your period because my cramps are non-existent. Yes, I ended up finding ibuprofen, but it did not kick in by the time I went to class. Definitely made me feel so much better. Um, it's 8.54 and Publix closes at 10 Publix of the supermarket if you're unfamiliar and so I'm gonna go ahead and head there get some things to eat for tomorrow because I'm not even gonna finish eating the shrimp because I just I just don't want that <laughs> but I'm gonna try to sign up for Orange Theory tomorrow I really want to start my health journey back and just be healthy and more fit and be working out and force to wake up at 6 a.m. so that's what I'm gonna do when I get home anyways let's go ahead and go to Publix I'm gonna call Josh on the way there he could keep me company Look how cute these Cheerios are. I'm gonna buy them only because they're shaped in the shape of a heart. I haven't eaten cereal in so long, so I'm getting... really like daytime appropriate it feels almost like a bb cream but it's not a bb cream maybe it is i don't know but it's from fenty and it's the east tint foundations yes yeah, so i mixed 14 and 17 to get the look that i need and it fits my skin it looks great in the daytime i don't look red i don't look orange her other foundations oxidizes these i feel like don't and then I did my brows with this fenty um brow pencil and I just used that to basically do my brows so only brows lip gloss foundation anyways let's go
Alright guys, so my hair should be nice and dry. I was trying to like set it. Um, the gel, meh, good enough. I know this is so weird, but I hate when the cinnamon is on the sides of the bowls. I just, I just don't like when it looks like all like dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean the inside. Okay, hey guys. So today I have a lot of things that I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me per usual, but I have to go to the mall because I have an event next week and the dress code is hot pink or white. <laughs> And I thought I had enough time to order things online. And I was telling Josh that I was like, yo, I have enough time. I'm gonna order. And he was, no, I was like, let me order now so that I'm ahead of the game or whatever, whatever. He was like, we have a lot of time. Maze next week. So I should have just honestly um, ordered it because now I have to actually go into store, which is an, a complete nightmare because I hate shopping in Georgia. I hate the malls here. They're just, to me, they're whack and just a hassle. Anywho, Dang, my forehead looking huge. Golly. Um, anywho, I am gonna make some breakfast before I go so I can eat and shop without the worry of like being hungry. I also like to be the first person at the mall. So the mall opens at 10. I like to be there at 10. Okay, parked and ready to go in. I hate crowds, I hate shopping malls. And so being at the mall opens at 10, and it's now 11.04. I am basically gonna be with a crowd, sure, because it's Friday. Um, my oatmeal's ready. Anyways, let me finish making my breakfast so I can be out of here at the latest 11.30. It was all a fail. So I couldn't find anything in Zara. They had the color on point though. But everything in there was just looking like, mm, wasn't a fan, wasn't really given. So the line to try on was long for the fitting room. So I figured, let me just go to another store. There has to be other places that have pink. It could be pink, white, or any shade of pink. So I'm looking for anthropology and free people because when I went to Lennox, they had some stuff in the window but I didn't have time to go in. So I'm gonna look here. I'm gonna go to Abercrombie for a nice white dress and I'm gonna go to Nordstrom. So yeah, that's where I'm going now. I really like this dress. This is really cute. All right, so Anthropology had some nice stuff. So I'm gonna remember them, come back to them. I'm gonna hit up Nordstrom. And then if I don't find anything in there, then I'll buy from Anthropology. Not really a fan of these pants. I usually love all their pants, but and this one is the the super skinny ankle. And it looks a little see-through-ish. Like you can see the pocket through it. So I'm not a fan. So Express save the day. Found a pink outfit. Because I kind of want to be like comfortable, but I still want to be like dressy looking. So I think this is a cute outfit. I'm sitting on a picnic. This will kind of match the rosé bottle. We're going light paint babe. It's really hard to go shopping with your hair not done because I'm not gonna lie, it's not getting, you can't see the full vision. I'm gonna also, this is a medium, but I don't like the way all of this is. So I'm gonna try on a small one. Okay, we found our outfit. So we're doing light pink. 
I love this shirt with this, matches perfectly. And I feel like if I'm sitting down, I'll still be comfortable. Alright guys, so I'm calling it a night. I already took a shower. I did my nighttime routine with basically the same products from this morning. And yeah, so this vlog is coming to an end. I had so much fun recording it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll try to do longer for you guys next time. But until then, thanks for watching this vlog. And I'll see you guys in my next one.